Yes, as we go. So uh, welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. It is June 10th, 2020. And uh, Janet Yoko is not here tonight because it's her anniversary. Uh, and it's my anniversary too. Both of us have been married to different people for 31 years. I just wanted to say, but I'm, I'm really happy to see you all here tonight. Um, great to have you. Um, I, I, there, um, let's uh, quickly do some introductions. Uh, there's some people here who haven't been here before. Uh, let's ask um, Melissa to introduce yourself first, <laughs> if you don't mind. And then we'll tell you who we are. <laughs> hey. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Melissa Garcia. I just completed my first year at Lehman College in the Early Childhood and Childhood Education Department. Um, I am a New Yorker, um, but I was living for the past 15 years in Puerto Rico. And so I'm just returning to New York in what proves to be a year. <laughs> um, and on many Welcome. fronts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, so, and mm -hmm. one of the reasons I asked Melissa to come is that you were like uh, promoting, pushing, chain, you know, kids need to, people need to read stamped, right? So, yes. And yeah. that's one of the things that's on the uh, collection that we're going to look at tonight. So I thought I'd invite you. So thank you for I'm coming. Ha I'm happy to be here. Cool. <laughs> Nikki, do you want to go next? Hi. Um, I'm Nikki Fain. I'm also from Lehman College, and um, I'm excited to see Melissa here because I recruited her, and yes, she got me to read Stamped and also got me to think about um, how we can really engage young children or parents of young children in some difficult conversations. Very cool. Um, Marina, do you want to go next? since you teach young children, there's something here. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I'm i Marina, I'm third grade teacher in um, New York. And um, I'm here today really to just learn um, a lot today. I guess talk about my seed project when the time is right. Keep going, go ahead. Oh, you want me, do you want me to can talk about Yeah, that? why don't you, yeah. Okay, just really fast because I know it's not the focus of the show for this evening, but um, Last time I was on, I think it was about two weeks ago, there was a teacher, um, she's not here today, but she shared with us Book Creator. And right away I was like, let me see what this is all about. So I started playing around with that. And that was, that was Anna, by the way. Anna, Anna. 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 Yeah, yeah. And um, we took this idea of creating seed packets, like um, where every- Who, by the way, sorry, just want to give her excuse. <laughs> she, she says she has 15 hours of PD this week. Um, so she, on Zoom. So she can't stand more Zoom. Sorry, but <laughs> an interesting reason to not be able to, anyway, sorry to interrupt, go ahead. Yeah. No, that's okay, but um, I'm, just let me uh, backtrack for a second for anyone who um, I didn't share this with or didn't see last time, my third graders, I wanted to create something um, community-based to end the year since this is just um, you know, such an unconventional way to end the school year. And um, we, weeks before that we've spoken about um kids writing and one of the cycles was about seeds and one of the little pieces of it was creating um a seed packet so we kind of uh, i kind of took the idea with the kids and create uh to create any type of creative seed that they would want to put in our community garden and they came up with lots of things that were connected to like chocolate bar plants to technology plants to <laughs> kindness plants um really really sweet things that kids can only imagine and dream of and um they started making these books using book creator and they've got little sections like how to plant the seed and the discovery of the seed and then um you know we're finishing the year off with a perimeter math unit and they actually use their math thinking to design a picture of their garden and the dimensions with the area and then the array of how you plan it. So all these different little um, approaches all coming together um, and they're going to be releasing their books to one each one another next week on Monday. So um, they've all been hidden and then we're going to put them all out there and they keep saying, why can't I see anybody else's book? 
but um, so you, like you have like a one, two, three release kind of thing. Yeah. So we we're team school. Uh, we're Microsoft. So um, I'm just going to create a channel for them. And then, and the book creator, uh, they get, um, they can get a URL. So we're, they're just going to paste their link into the channel and then everybody can see each other's books and leave them feedback. Um, and just and one of those nice ways to finish off the year. That's wonderful. Um, would you come back next Wednesday and break that down more for us? Is that yeah, 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 definitely. Cool. Sure. Sounds like it'd be a good time. Joe, I've been abusing your name on all my invitations. So introduce yourself, please. <laughs> sure. I'm Joe Dillon. I teach uh, creative writing and humanities at Gateway High School in Aurora, Colorado. And we've been out of school for a number of weeks now. I think this is week three of summer for us. Oh. So... So it's it's starting to feel a little bit lazy, which is good. Are you guys doing summer camp this year or what are you doing? Oh yeah, Young Writers Camp is actually, we're the third day of Young Writers Camp. So I guess it hasn't wow. been that lazy. So that's <laughs> online. And so it's about half the time as, as we usually spend downtown on campus, but now it's spending two and a half hours a day on Zoom. But, I, but because it's an experiment, I'm mostly sort of backing people up with technology and popping into uh, virtual classrooms just to make sure everyone's doing okay and that they're not overwhelmed with the technology. So my teaching load is next to nil for Young Writers Camp. Yeah, but thanks for coming in, given that you're handling that too. Um, Rich. Hey everybody, uh, Rich Novak, uh, English teacher from yeah. Connecticut, and I still got a week to go, uh, June 17th, but uh, right now I'm in, I'm coasting. I'm I signed poetry for the last thing. So I'm just reading student poetry. It's wonderful. And it's, I, 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 I couldn't have played it any better. It's great. It's actually, enjoy it's like, you know, the end of the year that crunch to get stuff done and like get your papers graded and get your grades in. Like they, they let me totally like, just, they said, go light, ease up on the curriculum. And I'm like, you got it. And I'm like, <laughs> and now the, the poetry that they're writing is some of the best poetry I've ever read. And it's amazing. Cool. So. Very nice. Christina. Hi, I'm Christina um, and I work at the National Writing Project and I'm just starting teaching right now um, a semester at Hopkins a teaching writing online course. Um, and the and I'm sort of trying to gather up a lot of resources sources about the ways that people teach online. So I interviewed Paul and Chris. And then Jeff made a great like Who's sound. on his way, by the way. Go ahead. What? He's on his way. Go ahead. Oh. Jeff just added a nice soundtrack to this PowerPoint that he's been using around um, yeah, designing, thinking about how to design and principles for thinking about how to design that you've talked about here on TTT. And it's great to have that, that resource. So I'm gathering up these great resources. Um, and that's really inspiring me to sort of keep interviewing people, like 15, 20 minute interviews. How are you doing this? Um, so anyway, I'll probably come to all of you. <laughs> cool. Point. Joe, you're next, because we got to get a Minecraft uh, talk through. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, do you want to introduce yourself? Are you there, sir? I'm here. I'm here. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'm Jeff Deerking. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, you still got that COVID beard in front of your mic, man. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my beard gets <laughs> in the way of my microphone. Um, you got to get a clip. <laughs> I can clip it to my beard, actually. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Um, yeah, we've been out of school since March uh, 12th, and um, I run a program for at-risk kids, um, getting them through the a um, alternate graduate program and so my big adventure this week has been that the testing centers have finally reopened mm -hmm. uh and so i have three weeks to get um 31 kids fully through all their testing um and uh today was the first day they actually got into the testing center so i've been wait I went from nothing like i was doing nothing or very little to i'm working like 13 hours straight just trying so the know. testing center is open and these kids who haven't been in schools have still have to take the test they gotta pass the the, the program uh, they gotta okay. pass the high set they gotta pass the ge what used to be called the ged 
and they they've given them a lot of different breaks you know b based on the fact that covid happened but they can't waive testing i mean they get the kids have to pass the test and so got it the deadline is is what given it, is. it it's the ged or whatever I, I, now i understand a yeah. little better so, cool yeah i don't think i missed anybody thank you all for those introductions um I, Unusual tonight. Um, I want to kind of do a workshop with you, if you don't mind, um, and uh, ask you to go to um, a collection in Now Comment. Um, and I'm wondering if I should just, instead of talking more, actually share my screen. And I want to make it so you can share yours too. And now I can't find anything. Sorry, I'll, I'll get here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, scary. Share screen. Okay. You guys are good for sharing screen if you need to at some point. Okay. Um, so uh, what I will do is this. I will go to something that is nothing. No, it's not nothing. Um, here's how I want to set this up. I want to say this is a document. Did someone see a how to annotate? Yep, cool, thanks, Jeff. Um, so um, you can do, of course, you can do whatever you want, but I did want to show you this resource um, that um, the, what we like to say to youth, to students, is there are five things you could do. Um, if you do six, seven, eight, and nine, that's great too. This is really just to open up your possibilities you can make some connections when you annotate. Is the pop-up showing up? I think so, right? Okay. You can, you can make some summaries or paraphrase what you're seeing there when you annotate. You can ask questions. You can do a translation and or do an illustration of what you see there. Um, you can show your opinion, your, your reaction to what you're seeing. Um, again, not the perfect list, but just to start the conversation, um, please interrupt me and say, hey, why don't you add this to or whatever you want here. Um, but I'm going to keep going a little bit. I'm going to try to go to now comment. And I want everybody to log in at now comment dot com. I don't know if you don't have an account yet, you might have to get one. <laughs> um, Melissa, I'm not sure you do, but Maybe you do. I don't remember if we did that or not. I, I just tried going in and it didn't recognize my email. So I think I went in to now comment through the other platform. Um, what was the LR? LRNG, yeah, but LRNG. So LRNG. I have to create an account. It'll, t it'll be quick. Okay. okay, so create an account, okay. I don't think we did that with you, if I remember. Um, okay. So I want, here's, here's how I'm getting here, just to show you how I'm getting to the collection that we're gonna look at. Um, the, we have on the front page here, this section, these um, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, um, trying to think about, you know, could the questions youth come up with kind of fit into these or not? Um, Marina, by the way, has done work with these as well, and we should talk to her about that again sometime. Oh, I went too fast here. It's okay. So peace, justice, and strong institutions seem to be one of the themes that's going on now with um, uh, George Floyd's um, protests. So in, so try to follow me here, right? And if you're having trouble, let me know. In that study group, there is a collection and then I'm going to put this link in the chat and you can just go there. Just wanted to show you how one way to get here. There is a collection of videos. Um, there uh, some text with audio, some other videos. Here's a collection of um, images from the protests. Uh, here's this. This is a collection. I'll just say this is a a set of photographs that this one photographer did in Minneapolis. Um, you can see the dates right there. So, uh, some other prologue to this 
interesting book, I think. Anyway, um, and other things here as well. Um, questionable whether or not to leave this video here. This is the Washington Post video, and it's pretty carefully edited, we can say. But, you know, whether or not to leave that in there is a good question. And then there is a collection of images here, too. What I'd like you to do is, and um, I'm going to try to say what uh, Joe said last week, um, is, and you do it with three, like a, a very important issue is going on in the country. Um, you give them three media, three pieces of media, and you say, which of these matters the most, right? Is that close to what you say, or what's your, what's the important? How do you Which ask the question? Most important, yep. Okay. So, um, let me, um, and I'll check with you in a second here. Um, I promised I was going to put that in the chat, and I didn't do it. Is everybody on this page? Let me slow down and ask that. I'm just looking at your site. I'm not yeah. on my own. So you you'll need to get to your own. Here's the link to it. It's in the chat now. So you can go there directly. And what I'd like you to do is choose whatever speaks to you and go in and annotate it, right? So um, the way these collections work is that, let's say you wanted to read, to watch Kimberly Jones's video. Um, and if you've seen the end, I love the beginning too. <laughs> the, um, I'll say that. So if you're annotating the video, you play the video and then I don't think it's gonna play right now because I didn't hit the right thing. But, and you can add comments like that, right? I want you to kind of mess around and it's not gonna be great TV here, <laughs> but um, find something that you'd like to look at um, the first chapters of Stamped are here, and you can hear um, it being read to you as well. So looks like Janet has already begun um, annotating here, right? And, and if you're not familiar with Now Comment, um, let me give the quick direction that you can double click on a sentence this comes up and this is where you can write some summary and then further thoughts down here um, or you can come over here and comment on the entire paragraph right you can also quickly change that here um, i do want to give direction to um, let's say you chose some images um, there are kind of there are two hour videos here so you kind of figure out where you, how you can quickly go through those. But here are some images, right? And if you wanted, what you can do is select a part of the image and then let go, and then you can annotate the image there. So let me come back and ask you, is that clear enough for who needs help or I'd love mm -hmm. it if you'd link us again to the annotation guide. I will do I'm not that. seeing it on these voices under comments. I know I've seen it here, but I can't right now find it. Where is it? Um, I, I forget. thought it was I under guides, but I don't see it. <laughs> it is there, but I forget where, where, which section. Yeah, um, it's youthvoices.live slash annotations instructions, but I'll put it in the chat. I didn't put the HTTP. Paul, I'm on the page TTT 610 George Floyd's Life Mattered. Yep. Right, that's where we need to be. Collection droids, yeah, it says collection at the top. So, so let me, yeah. uh, um, Yes, I'll get to you one second. Um, if you are good, 
if you're on there and you can find something you want to go annotate, please do that. Can we do that for 15 minutes? Is that too long? Is that good enough time? Just um, go in and annotate whatever you want to there and then we'll come back and you'll kind of um, tell us what you did and what you what you looked at there. Fair enough? Um, Melissa, and, and if you, Melissa, do you need more help? Um, I, I just want to make sure that I'm on the same, I'm on now comment now, and I'm looking at join us to annotate videos. Um, and now uh, that's no, taking, no, that's oh no, that's place. taking me to, yeah, that just took me to the YouTube. In the <laughs> chat, in the chat, there's a, a link. The, the now comment link. No, no the one beneath, below that youth voice. No, the one way at the top. I'll put it in again. Okay, yeah, that, I thought that's where I was. Okay, how to add to this collection? Yep. Yeah, okay, so we're looking at any of these for the next 15 minutes? That's to annotate? correct. Okay. Exactly right. All right. And if anybody gets stuck, please raise your hand or yell out and I'll try to help. Thank you for playing with us tonight. <laughs> This is Ibram X. Kendi. Introduction. To know the past is to know the present. To know the present is to know yourself. I write about the history of racism to understand racism today. I want to understand racism today to understand. So, thank you. So the person who was listening to that, I'm going to mute you, but you can unmute yourself.
I want to call us back in about uh, three minutes. Is that okay? You might refresh everything wherever you are and see if anybody else commented. And so that is one way to use the last three minutes here is refresh your browser and then go see if you can find other people's comments for a little bit. I'll interrupt you again in three minutes. All right, let's try to come back together. Um, and I don't know if it's, so please unmute and let's just talk about what that was like for you <laughs> for a minute. If that's okay to ask it that openly. <laughs> I'll, I'll start. Um, cool. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> there's there's a lot to uh, to look at, and just you know, trying to kind of see the comments, um, go back to the original listing of of options to look at, and um, where it says one day ago, like I just posted my comment in the Dad and Son discuss, and it says one day ago. I th I, th I think that's I think that's who got. That's when it got posted. Ah, okay. So that's the posting for, for when it, okay. So it, so the comments, you don't know when one has commented then. Um, like if it's just a recent, you just have to go in and do a refresh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Other quick comments, or just uh, first impressions, thoughts. My, my first impression was that um, I, I, I went to stamped and I listened and read simultaneously. Um, and um, then I found myself sort of picking out certain rhetorical devices that the author was using 
and trying to analyze why. And then I found myself really wanting someone to be replying to me immediately about <laughs> their, you know. So I felt like I was having some kind of dialogue with this author or authors, um, but I longed for a reply to some of my thinking. I'll, I'll try, I, you know, I just felt that was like an idea salad, you know, just coming together. I was like a, a little here for five minutes, a little there for five minutes. I was in stamp listening to it. I, I, I haven't read that yet, so I'm dying to read that. So it was really interesting to hear it. I really like the layout of that. And I'm totally thinking like to myself, like, oh, this is so fantastic for students with special needs, like the way it reads it to me. And then like you go into the, the, the sentence and, I, you know, I had some special ed teachers do that for me but I really liked the layout of it. Um, but it was nice to be able to just jump around too. And then, you know, um, as, as was mentioned too, like I had a couple things going on at once, you know, I had like the music from the, from the George Floyd funeral in the background, you know, so it was really, you know, it's kind of cool. You know, I didn't finish anything though, which leaves me a little unsatisfied. That's, that's the- It's a workshop. Right. <laughs> But fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Joe, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. I uh, I had not watched the Kimberly Jones video, and so the length of that video was, was kind of perfect because I found something in the middle that I wanted to respond to, and then I was still able to finish and knock out a few annotations. At the very end, I saw Jeff's annotation, got to reply, so... I think that short video was helpful for me. And uh, it was something I'd been wanting to watch, but it's also the kind of the kind of uh, media that has been like capturing my attention for the last few weeks too. Um, I looked at the images from Minneapolis. Um, trying to find it now again. It's a one photographer's Lori Scholl's images of protest. And um, I mostly want to see how images work with now comment or just play with that a little bit, which, and it's beautiful actually the way it works. Um, and you can really sort of overlap each other. So there's one image you can see Paul made a comment that sort of overlaps with one of my comments. So, and I just find it, it's, I don't know. I, I got lost in that. Like that's all I did was look at a few photographs. But it when I started commenting on them, I found it very engrossing. Cool. Nicole, do you want to say hello? You came in a little bit late, but hi Nicole. How's it going? Um yes, I apologize for being late. I have a, a two-year-old who's running the house currently. So <laughs> I had to read uh, Last Stop on Market Street like three times. <laughs> if anyone knows that book, it's great mm -hmm. by Matt De La Pena. Um, th this was good. It, I mean, I, I think I felt like I kind of emulated a teenage brain. I was very distracted and like, <laughs> like what, what were we doing? What are we doing, guys? So um, I went to the Youth Voices annotation instructions, and I think that kind of grounded me a little bit. So, you know to have a teenage brain and be a little bit distracted. That was great because uh, at first I looked at all the articles and I felt overwhelmed because I, I wanted to look at the photos um, and do some other things. But I looked at, I read a little bit of the article, Half a Century of Torture. Mm. And um, the annotation instructions helped to digest such a heavy article, a, sh a shocking amount of information in just two paragraphs. So I didn't have a lot of time to um, get into the article, but uh, that the instructions are good from Youth Voices. Mm -hmm. It helped. Jeff, do you want to say anything? I'm just calling on you. Yeah. You're muted. If I, you're I, yeah, sorry. I, um, yeah. I, I watched the Kimberly Jones video. I mean, from a technical perspective, the, I had the really nice experience of saying of thinking to myself man i wish i could leave a comment at an exact point in this video and then within one click realizing i could leave a comment at an exact point in the video so it was really cool to be like 
I wish this did this and then have it be like, oh, it does do this. This is great. Um, so I like that. And that had me kind of rolling. And, and I'm, you know, thinking through all this stuff I'm, I'm feeling too. So um, then I went to, uh, or first I started at the, um, uh, at the StoryCorps um, mm -hmm. one. And, I, and I, again, I think that short video thing is, I don't know why, but it really works really well to be able to, because you're hearing the person and you're, if that feels like conversation and then also Joe's responding to me. So it almost feels like you're doing something in public in this weird conversational space, which I sort of like. Yeah. I, we're, I think it's worth saying that the, um, um, Andrew Klobuchar, who um, has been doing some of the research on now comment finds that, that is, is really interested in, and how di conversation happens between people about the text, right? Um, it, it, it does start the way Nikki mentioned that with, you know, talking to the, the text, but then it quickly becomes the people in the, on the side talking about the text. And that, that's an interesting thing that happens, I think, rhetorically. Um, but um, I did want to check in with uh, Marina, though. If you want to say anything, you don't have to. No, no, I will. I just I didn't actually annotate anything. I'm sorry. Like I, that's I, good. I, <laughs> it's fine. I started in one place. So I, so I started with stamped because I had heard a lot of, a lot about it. Um, and then I don't know what made me leave it. Nothing, nothing on purpose. But I think I was just intrigued by like the long list of texts that are that were in the collection and I wanted to see what everything was um and then I I saw the dad and son discussing growing up black in Mississippi and I just wanted to start there and I watched it twice and I still didn't stop and write anything and then I left and then I, I was kind of like popping between them and then starting to think about like how they went together um and, and I was, I guess like that's, that's kind of like wh where I'm at. I'm not how they go together, but just how they build on each other and they can lead you to like jumping to another one to get more information for whatever it is that you're needing, that you're feeling that you want to know more about. Um, and also I'm, that's how I am usually with anything. I go through something once and then I go back and I, so I, maybe if I had more time, I would go in and put my thoughts, but um I really like that there's a, a lot to look at here from, from different media and. And maybe too much. Uh, should we play Joe's game and say what, what matters most or what's the important? Joe, explain your, I call it, keep calling it a game, but explain what we would do with that question. I mean, there's too much here. You only give people three things, right? But yeah, usually when I when I do this activity, I start the like it's usually when there's something really rough in the news that I want folks to be able to unpack. And it's usually when they have media coming across whatever whatever social channels they use, or if all their friends have been texting about stuff, then I like to just kind of like uh, give a very quick overview of what they'll be looking at at the start of class. Say, oh, you you know how we do this. You have to, you know, you have to skim these really quickly, say what's most important for you. And that's how you're going to choose what you're going to read more closely today or discuss. Right. And so the idea is that I talk through them really quick, then they skim them. They say, oh, this is most important to me, even if they haven't completed the read. Right. So it's like the same way any of us just chose something to focus on. That's what we would that's sort of their first stance on what's most important. And then it can evolve and change through the week. They can add, they can add media. They can, so they can bring out things that they think are important. And sometimes it becomes more deeper reads and sometimes it becomes more media sharing and sometimes it becomes conversations. Cool. I have, uh, I, I don't want to dominate the last five minutes or so here. Other thoughts or questions people want to, ask or get to her? I was just yeah. thinking as, as Marina was talking about how she didn't annotate about how that happens, even like with the pen and paper in my classroom, you know, students like 
just want to read it and they don't want to be bothered by annotation i feel bad sometimes like we're making them annotate you know like and there's something i i think especially like when you have such smorgasbord um and another point joe i love i love the prompt and i that kimberly jones uh, i did see that one and i think that you know if i had to pick one that would be the one i'd pick for sure anybody else want to pick one you can think about what you would want your students to see too. How long did you guys do this process for? Because I came in at the middle of it. You didn't miss much. Yeah. Well, did about, it feel like enough enough minutes. time for everybody? It's just about fifteen minutes to. Yeah. It, it felt like it felt right. Like I felt like I wouldn't want to do it much longer in this format, you know. And I like the idea of going on like what Joe would do and go on in deeper reading, you know. Mm -hmm. So we can say by Friday, pick one and, and really annotate a, a lot, right? And then, right? And then turn in your annotations, which they can do. You can mm -hmm. go to your profile, go down to the bottom and find all of your annotations and you can turn that in. When you do this, when you do this with students, um, how do you how do you get them to begin at, how, do you set up routines so they begin to in, uh, reply to one another uh, you know for example if you say by friday annotate this um that doesn't that still can be one-way communication with the text or the pictures or the or the film how how do you encourage the in, interactivity i mean at the college level we do such sort of artificial things as put a post, reply to two others. And I, I trust you have something that's more interesting than that. Well, I would, okay. echo, I would echo what Paul said, which is you could require whatever annotations or whatever routines or processes you have. One thing I like to do is, you know, after they've made a stance about what they're gonna focus on during the first class period, then they usually know that they can annotate with like a says means matters chart, right? So they're finding important lines, they're saying what it means, and they say why it matters to them okay. or why it matters with the essential question. And then one of the things I do is, um, so sometimes then they just have to run around and share that, right? And then that gets them interested in what each other has, has highlighted in each piece. The other thing I do sometimes is when they start to turn those in, I'll, uh, I'll ask for permission, but I'll cut off the matters columns and I'll just start to share the says and the means rows and so the next, the second day, it'll, it'll start with like a lot of lines that are paraphrased, but then all the all the parts of the chart that that where they say why it's relevant or why it's important are blank. And so other people get to layer on and, and sort of like add on why they see something as relevant or important, and that tends to deepen the discussion. And then if there if if a student who is writing about it the first day wanted to continue to write about it during the week, they can also s steal someone else's idea or incorporate someone else's idea into their argument. So how could you use no, no comment? How could you do all of that online? I, 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 I've got a pretty good sense of how you're doing it in a in a face-to-face -face classroom, question. which is so, really engaging. Now, how do, you, how do you try to mimic that engagement if you were just using no comment? If I was just using now comment the way Paul has it laid out is I would I would take those sample annotations and I'd be very clear about oh says means matters is one is sort of like if you're unsure about how to how to annotate try that of course you can deviate and then if I was looking at a class set at the end of class then I would just start to excerpt the top two pieces so you'd get a lot of you know what's been highlighted what does it mean and then I would I would sort of om omit the why does it matter part so other people could layer in why they think it matters. Okay. The one, another, another thing that comes to mind, um, again, Andrew's students um, uh, um, are in study groups. So there are, you know, four, four college students, they have to meet outside of class time to do, to do their work together, right? So those students are, are assigned to kind of comment on each other's stuff. So there's, but they're, they're, they are also meeting face to face and talking to each other too. So I don't ever want, if we can, if, 
when we can come back to the classroom, that's when it works best, right? Because <laughs> my other answer from my own experience is just giving time. So on Friday when they come in and they've done the work, we, I say, okay, you did the work, but now go back and reply to each other. And just giving the time for that, right? Is, is yeah, I think that's really, I was gonna say, it's really important to give, build time, whether you're face-to-face -face or online, to build time for that explicit thing. And then also what I see, um, I'm gonna, Harriet, I know you don't go by Harriet, but I forget. Nikki. Nikki, it's okay. Nikki, sorry, Nikki. Um, I just put a link to another project that, um, that um, uses a different annotation platform. But what I see in this project, Joe works in this project. Um, Joe, you actually reply. Actually, Paul, you were doing the same thing for us. Like mm -hmm. both of you spent a lot of time actually replying and so, so modeling that behavior. So that's another thing that I see in online spaces are the people who are facilitating are then doing that modeling constantly. Mm -hmm. But replying as a reader, not as a teacher, right? Like right. you're not as correcting somebody, but yeah, mm -hmm. right. Can I, I guess I also have this thought, especially online, which is a huge part of this would, and this may be a dumb thing to say, but a huge part of this is built into the students knowing why they're annotating like annotating to annotate in class is something that teachers are pretty good at making kids do because I'm looking over your shoulder and if you don't annotate, I'll tell you you need to annotate. But we lose control in the online space. You know, we lose that sort of sense of doom that we can impose on kids and be like, you should be annotating. So I think the other part of it is making sure there's a reason to annotate or a reason to have the conversation. Why, why do I need to do this? Because I think you're at the mercy of, of the kids, if they don't see the purpose, um, you know, then then you 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 can have every tool in the book, and you're and you're not gonna get what you want out of it. Yeah, I love that that piece you just did for me, where you're talking about being online. <laughs> you know, power. <laughs> made me think about it. Yeah. Right, the power structure is really different. Mm -hmm. um, and so, how do you how do you what do you have to do in that context? I think it's really interesting. Um, I just posted our colleague of ours, Michelle King, put together a sort of why annotate meditation that I've used a few times in kind of workshops and stuff with adults. I haven't used this with kids. I've used it with adults just to sort of like get people thinking, why do we annotate, you know, and then maybe follow one of those paths. One of the things that we've noticed happening um, is um, youth talk to each other um, in now comment. And then when they come to the uh, meet the video meeting, they continue that conversation. Okay. So, so now comment becomes a place to rehearse what you're gonna say when you get to class, right? Okay. So whether that's on, on Zoom or, if it, yeah. or it's live, I really think it's important that there is actual conversation. Yeah. Okay. In addition to the annotation. Right. Yeah. Great question though. <laughs> Thank you. I want to give us all a zoom break here. <laughs> Thank you for playing with this. Um, it is quite possible on this. If you um, want to check with me another time or just mess around, feel free to, if there's, like there's a Washington Post article about the disparity between um, African American economic disparity that I want to get into this collection. Um, so if there's something that you say, oh, I really think this should be in this collection, um, what you do is put it up on now comment and then come to this collection and add it. Um, I can lead you through that at some point if you want to talk to me. But you can also just mess around and kind of figure it out. There are brief instructions at the top. Thank you all for playing here um, and meeting each other. And we'll talk to you again soon. Marina, you, you're, on, you're on next week, right? With seed projects? Yeah, it's my last okay. day of school, so yes. <laughs> we can celebrate with you. <laughs> are you sure it's OK? Yeah, OK.
I think, yeah, I'll, I'll just take a nap. I'm just gonna, <laughs> it's late for me, it's so late. Okay, we'll, we'll wake you up. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. This is great. Bye. 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 Good to see you guys. Bye bye.